Morning everybody, John Hughes here and it's Motivational Monday. This morning I want to talk to you about procrastination. Some of the causes and ways to get over it. So three common issues that can cause procrastination. The first is not having clearly defined goals. The second would be distractions and the third would be a variety of different kinds of fears. So first, let's talk about having a clearly defined set of goals in the areas of your personal life, your professional life, your financial life, your physical life, your spiritual life, your social and family life. Hugely important because that way you can ask yourself at any point, is what I'm doing right now the most important use of my time to progress me towards my goals? If I'm procrastinating and putting something off, is what I'm putting off a progress towards my goals. If it is, then I need to work towards doing it because whatever else I'm doing, if it's another goal, that's okay. Maybe I should take care of something that's a little bit more easy or fun. Doing something towards my goals will build confidence and, and give me uh, a good sense of satisfaction and allow me to then tackle other ones with greater energy. So. That's one reason. The next would be distraction. Lots of times, again, we may be uh, distracted between goals, that's okay, as long as we are working towards them. However, if we're pulled away maybe by someone who needs us, well, perhaps we should think about that as a goal. I think we should be on this planet in the service of other people. So if we can help somebody, quickly empower them to take care of their own issue, for example, you've heard the old adage of giving a person a fish, they eat for a day. Teaching them how to fish, they eat for a lifetime. So if we can help them rapidly, get them up and running and self-empowered to continue, fantastic. Then we can return to our goals. If on the other hand, the distraction is we're putting off pursuit of our goals and not getting started because we're involved in something lazy or fun that we'd rather be doing makes sense. Sometimes you need a rest. That's okay. Just don't let it go on too long because you'll never get started. The journey of a thousand miles starts with that first step. So get over whatever's distracting you and focus on those goals. Okay, the third thing is fear. A variety of different kinds of fears. First, fear of the unknown. Very clearly, a lot of times when we're heading into a goal that's gonna lift us up to another level, we are definitely going to be venturing into unknown territory. Uh, that's very uncommon, or very common. So we should look to find people who have done it before, perhaps uh, find a mentor, a coach, an advisor, or read a book, listen to a podcast, learn what we can. The next would be fear of failure. Well, that's gonna happen. Sometimes you're not going to make it on the first attempt. Thomas Edison failed over 10,000 times trying to come up with the light bulb. But he has been said when he was asked, how did it feel to fail 10,000 times? He said, I didn't fail 10,000 times. I know 10,000 ways that won't work. Interesting perspective. So, fail quickly. Get it over with if it's gonna happen because you're gonna learn something and hopefully not repeat it going forward. Now those first two, fear of the unknown and fear of failure. If you're doing any studying, don't spend too much time uh, figuring out what's going on. Jump in, take a leap of faith. Otherwise you could get caught in uh, analysis paralysis and never get started with that first step towards your thousand mile journey. The third is fear of ridicule. Along the way, you may have lots of people who say, oh, that can't be done, you're never gonna make it. Yeah, well think about this. They're probably envious that you're taking uh, strides towards making yourself better and they wish that they would do it. Bring them along, encourage them too. But remember, statues are not built for critics. So turn that off. Sometimes you'll need to leave that and surround yourself with a tribe or community, if it's available, of other achievers. And read things, as I've said before, about other people who have faced adversity and overcome it, and 
take that leap of faith. So, if you'd like some help in pursuit of your goals, establishing them in the first place, a support system and accountability partner, I as a life coach help people to find that balance in their life and to prioritize things and to find what are the methods that they should be taking, setting up a plan, overcoming these difficulties. And so please reach out to me either at coachjohnhughes.com and set up an appointment for us to talk or send a comment on this email. I would ask you to subscribe to my YouTube and share it with other people. Send in your comments and just have an awesome week. Thank you very much for letting me be part of your success. Take care.